Hey guys, in this video, I want to talk about filtering arrays. Now, this is something that I didn't know existed for a long, long time. And so, in fact, I used to get arrays and then do four each loops or four await loops in order to filter out the information that I needed based on certain conditions. But there's actually a filter function that you can attach directly to an array to achieve exactly what you need. So let's take a look. So you'll notice in, in this function, I've got a simple array of people. Um, I've got an empty use effect at the moment. And then I'm outputting and mapping through all of the people, which is what you can see here. But if we wanted to show only the people that worked in the dev department, um, the two ways I would have done it in the past would have been to either map through and put a condition inside of my map, which is a really dirty way of doing things and can actually cause other problems. Um, the way we could do it with the filter function would be to set a stateful item for our devs. And we'll just start it with an empty array. And then when the page loads, instead of having to, to map through or do a for each loop, we can simply say, um, We'll do a, we'll do let D equals, so people, and I'm breaking this out just so you can see each step and how it works. People.filter, which is a function. And then we'll take P as the person and a fat arrow P.department equal to dev. There we go. So D will now be an array of people that have the condition of department equal to dev and then we can simply say set dev d for example and if we console.log out d just so you can see what's happening nothing um, people.filter p.department equal to dev I'm missing ah that's what it is capital D there we go so now you can see there are two people being output into the array. And we could do that for each department. Now, this is useful um, if, for example, you wanted to keep reusing this data. Um, we can just see it working if I say dev people and map through that new array. You'll see there the dev people. And if we change that to accounts, for example, refresh the page uh, we've got the two accounts people um, and if we said client services and hit save oh, and hit save we've just got Sally that works in client services so if you're going to be reusing this information it's worth putting it into a stateful item but in many cases you'll just want to output people from that array that meet the conditions. So there's no need to actually create any stateful items at all. Since the filter function passes you back an array, we could simply say uh, people.filter and then stick in our function p.department oh, department equal to dev and there we go so just to run through what's happening there we're sticking the filter function directly on people setting the condition that we want to match of any people inside of that array and then we're mapping through the results so there's two ways that you can use the javascript filter function to save yourself a ton of time and reduce the amount of code that you're using i hope you've enjoyed this video if you had hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one